Hi and thanks for watching this video about D flats, my custom language for the Auric One and Auric Atmos computers. I've got a few videos about D flats and uh, today I wanted to go a little bit more into the uh, line drawing and the high resolution drawing capabilities of D flats. I made D flats uh, to be an optimized language for speed um, and using more structured uh, language constructs versus uh, go to and go sub of basic. Um, so in that respect, um, D flat is typically the language interpreter is uh, at least two times quicker. Um, but part of the reason is that D flat is integer only, uh, so that already gives it an advantage over Auric Basic, uh, which obviously has floating point uh, capability. Uh, but nevertheless, the core language has got various internal optimizations, such as tokenization of keywords and variables to speed up the execution. So when you want to do more sophisticated things, for want of a better term, um, D flat is probably three times, four times faster, even notwithstanding um, the floating point versus integer advantage of uh, D flat in terms of speed. Um, but in terms of graphics, I also did some optimizations. Um, Auric Basic is fairly slow in terms of the way it draws things for whatever reason. Um, in D flat, I wanted to address this so that I could more often use D flat rather than having to resort to assembly language uh, to write some machine code routines. Um, so let's get to it. Um, I'm going to use my stopwatch to try and time some of this. But if I go to what I've got here, by the way, you can't see the whole program, but line 100 just draws a load of circles forever and ever just to see the get a sense of speed difference. Line 200, the routine there, um, draws 100 circles, um, which I can use to time. Um, then line uh, 300 draws a nice pattern uh, using line drawing rather than circle drawing. And then line 400, that routine draws um, characters in the high resolution screen uh, so we can see the difference between the character speed uh, drawing, character drawing speed rather. So let's go to the high resolution of the Auric and if I run 100, we can see what it's doing here, drawing circles and then just keeps drawing the same circle but using XOR mode which means if the pixel is already on and you're trying to draw to that pixel it will be switched off and vice versa so that's the uh, kind of draw and arrays um, characteristic you get now let's try on D flat I can't use line numbers but I can call it using the name of the same similar subroutine it's called circle one and it's almost well it's night and day this is still running on a 1 megahertz emulated uh, Auric, uh, the same as we have for the Auric Basic. So both running at 1 megahertz at normal emulation speed, but you can see the difference is incredibly uh, noticeable. And the reason is I'm using a lot of table lookups here, so rather than calculating the pixel uh, byte address and then the pixel mask within the byte, uh, I'm using tables to look that up so I don't have to do a bunch of shifts and additions to calculate the address of the byte and then um, and some more shifts to figure out the mask. These are all just lookups so it's super fast to uh, figure out which pixel I need to specifically target in the high risk screen and I suspect in Auric Basic they are doing it program algorithmically rather than using a, a preformed lookup table. So that's one big reason why it's why it's faster. So let's try and time this. Um, let's stop the Auric, the Auric Basic one and then run 200 is the drawing 100 circles and I'm going to start my stopwatch now and I know this is going to take in the region of 50 seconds so let me go to the other side and and get ready with the circle two. So once the right hand side has finished, then we can do the D flat version. So the interesting thing about the circle drawing algorithm is that uh, I'm using the Bresenum circle drawing algorithm, and that means 
Um, but A, it's super fast. It's a, a well-known algorithm. I don't know that Arc Basic uses that, but it, it might do because I still see the quadrant or the, the quadrant-like behavior, which makes it seem like they're only calculating a quarter of the circle and then plotting the other pixels. But it doesn't look like that the way it's drawing it. Um, oh, just in time to stop the stopwatch at 51.8 seconds. Um, but the the same um, in the flat with the Bresenham circle algorithm, um, I'm only doing an octant, so I don't need to do a whole quadrant because I can use reflection and uh, symmetry basically to calculate the other quadrants. Anyway, let's do the benchmark of 100 circles and go. And straight away, that was so quick, it almost looked like it was flashing. Um, this is the speed difference, 4.2 versus 51.8. And and, uh, and a quick, um, I mean, that's more than 12 times quicker, right? So it's um, really uh, quite, uh, quite, quite noticeable. Let's just do the calculation, 51.8 divided by 4.2. Yeah, it's more than 12 times so the speed difference. So it's... Um, Quite, quite remarkable, really. Uh, let's then try uh, to do line 300. So let's run 300. And this is um, drawing some nice lines. Let's do the stopwatch again and go. So this is what we used to call st curve stitching back in the day, um, giving a nice pattern and I've just stopped it, 7.47, good. Uh, this is, that, this is, I would say, closer to D-flat speed. So let's try the same routine in D-flat. And you can immediately see it's noticeably faster. And that, and, and that was actually, I'm not sure if I did it right, so I'm gonna try it again to be fair. As soon as I see the word ready, I'm going to stop. 3.74. So that is, well, it's twice as fast, basically. Um, let's do the calculation using calc. 7.47 divided by 3.74. 1.99. Yeah, it's basically twice as fast. Um, and then finally, uh, let's do comparison of 400. Now this is drawing a character across the screen in high res mode. So it's pixel positioning a character and animating across the screen. Let's go there. And uh, I remember writing a, a Lunar Lander game in Auric Basic using this, um, this approach. 10.15. That's doing 234 pixels, erasing a character and then plotting it again. So it's doing 470-ish arrays and draw activities. And then let's do, uh, I think it's called char one. And then ready and go. Ooh, one point. 1.95 so uh, here it's significantly quicker again um, it's, it's 10.15 divided by 1.95 so it's over five times quicker so there you go um, that is Auric Basic for you uh, versus D flats so let's go back to here and you can see the difference um, so that is the reason why I wanted to make, make D flat. Originally it was made for my homebrew computer um, and then I thought I could port it and I ported a subset of the language to Auric 1 and Auric Atmos. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.